Hello everyone. Welcome to the today's video where we will exploring the Parivesh portal to understand what permissions are required for your proposed industry. And here I am sharing my screen. So whether you are a budding entrepreneur or an existing business owner, navigating through the regulatory landscape can be challenging, but fear not as Parivesh is here to simplify the process. Let's start by visiting the Parivesh portal. Here you can log in parivesnic.in. If you have not registered yet, then you have to just create an email account on this by using a previous video, using a new registration. Now, we'll explore what type of approvals are required using Know Your Approval, KYA. So the Parivesh portal serves a single window system for environmental clearance and approval. It is a crucial tool for the industries to streamline the process and ensure compliances with environmental regulations. So here we need to know that uh, what type of permission is required for our proposed industry or a construction project or anything which requires environment clearance or not. So here you need to uh, put your number like this. Agency name, suppose I am putting my agency name what type of user is this like a consultant or the academic institution others project proponent if you are putting as a proponent no problem you can put and also as a consultant you can check then what type of uh, purpose uh, to uh, check the clearances uh, academic uh, clearance others r d purpose so here we are um, like uh, going for clearance then you have to click on uh, to get the OTP and for this OTP you will receive on whatever the number you have given that uh, on that registered number you will uh, receive OTP you have to validate this after validating you will see here you need to uh, have the type of activity major group it is not a specific group but major groups are there like uh, suppose I am going for construction industry so you can check building and construction, building and construction, building oblique construction. Uh, in that, uh, sub activity will be like hospital, dispensary, industrial set, logistic, medical college, office building, other building, residential building, school, other than medical college, etc. So I am having a type of residential building and also uh, square meter means that built up area is required. Suppose in my case, the built up uh, area is more than 20,000 square meter, that is 34,890. So I am I'm putting the square meter. Also, you can check, uh, you can change uh, this uh, uh, square meter to hectare. Uh, here is, uh, here one important thing is required, that is a KML file. So what KML file is? This is one uh, a KML file you have to uh, uh, make on, uh, you can create a KML file on Google Earth Pro uh delineating the boundary of your project and here you have to import that kml is required kmz file is not going to accept here they have given the sop for kml creation also so you can click on this and you can get uh the sop how to create the kml file on uh google earth pro here is uh eight pages uh, sop which they have given and only kml file is to be accepted on this not kmz and uh, all the steps are given here, right? So using this SOP also, you can create other, if you have the KML file, then what we have to do now, only thing is that we need to put the capture code, which is already given here, and then upload and submit. After submitting, you will see that uh, this uh, decision support system, uh, do you want to, you have to check that uh, location they have given, uh, which you have selected, that is correct or not. So this is the location which we have. If it is correct, then you have to click yes. And after clicking yes, you will see uh, your location is this. This is type of uh, project, uh, which is nearby the railway uh, highway. And here type of uh, construction project, which what type of data we have given it is showing here. Then uh, type of approvals. Uh, here you can see four type of approvals, approvals are there. So applicability is only environment clearance, not for um, forest clearance, wildlife clearance, or uh, CRJ clearance. 
So uh, in case you can see also the area is more than 20,000 square meter. So it is covered under schedule of EIA notification. But in this case, forest clearance, you can see there is no forest part uh, is involved. The forest land is not involved. In wildlife clearance also, this there is no any wildlife sanctuary within uh, vicinity. So this is the one uh, way. Uh, also, you can check uh, tentative applicability by this. And uh, here you can see the state, to proceed number, state number, district, uh, sorry, and the village name, it is showing. You can click on generate report. So a report will be there. And that you can print in PDF file. Uh, complete report will be there. So that you can print and clearance is applicable only environment clearance. So that is one. And in case like here, you can see this is the complete report which is required. And here the clearance type is environment clearance, which is required for this uh, activity. And again, if you go uh, to the portal and here you can see again, we are clicking this know your uh, approvals. Again, we have to put the number same uh, for checking for industry, then get OTP. OTP will come on that number which you have provided. So validate the OTP here. Activity is uh, I am uh, going for uh, steel industry. So then you have to check the steel industry. integrated steel industry. This is paint industry. You have to select from a uh, drop down box, integrated steel industry, independent industrial industry, industrial park, industry listed in EIA schedule, marine, man-made, nuclear, offshore, pesticide, petroleum, skin hiding, all the type of industries are there so that you have to select Fairest, non fairest. Distillery, common hazardous waste, coal washeries, chloralkali, chemical, cement plant, building, asbestos, airport, coke oven, plant treatment plant, man made, metallurgical industry. So here, we have to click the metallurgical industry in this indicator seed steel plant. <clears throat> and then we have to check the camel file for one industry like here we have. Click this. Here also we have to provide uh, area in hectare or uh, the production capacity. So you can also put the production capacity this is a uh, million ton so it is about 7 million ton 70 million ton. Okay. so project boundary we have provided we can upload uh, it is saying that the camel is not as per the requirement so what again we have to Click if it is not KML file, then it is not going to accept. So in that case, you have to provide correct KML file. White field. And this is the chemical industry. So we have to go for the chemical industry, chemical process, synthetic organic chemicals actually. So the synthetic organic chemical industry. And again, we have to provide basic organic chemicals located within or outside. So it is outside. Uh, this is TPA. Okay. And here we have to provide Capicha code, 
then we have to upload verify uh the location this is going to see uh going to visualize this type of if it is correct then you have to click yes and after yes you will see uh this is type of report they have generated using dss system and uh, the layers it is from the bhuvan maps you can see this is the base map uh, which is uh, prepared by bhuvan uh, the bharat maps uh, and here you can see all clearances is applicable environment clearance not forest not wildlife not coastal zone so this is the way and also you can generate uh, this is topo seed number this is the state district and the village name nimari and uh, you can uh, just generate the report as uh, we have generated this you can see this type of uh, clearances is required and forest clearance wildlife clearance yard clearance is not required if general condition applicable in this case uh, so you have to provide as it is uh, from the approving authority it is not applicable because there is no any forest uh, sorry uh, any general condition applicability to this uh, project area within 5 km uh, because uh, any national park wildlife sanctuary etc etc are the state uh, boundary so then only general condition applicability will be there but in this case it is uh, going to check that uh, uh, what type of applicability is to get the clearances uh, tentative applicability of green clearances four type of green clearances are the environment clearance, forest clearance, wildlife clearance, CRA clearance. So, uh, only thing is their environment clearance is applicable. So, thank you very much learners. Uh, we'll see, uh, we'll meet next in video. Uh, so, uh, to learn about new things.